These are summary slides of a Canadian evidence-based guideline for the frontline treatment of follicular lymphoma uh, that were put together by a joint consensus of the Lymphoma Canada Scientific Advisory Board. The rationale behind the de development of this guideline was the lack of a national guideline in Canada for the management of follicular lymphoma. The purpose of this guideline was to provide healthcare practitioners with a clear guidance on the frontline treatment of patients with follicular lymphoma. We chose to use a fairly common employed methodology to categorize evidence and uh, consensus by the reviewers using the NCCN categorization. As you can see on this table, Category 1 recommendations are based upon high-level evidence where it is felt that there is uniform consensus that an intervention is appropriate. A Category 2A is based on lower-level evidence, but there remains uniform consensus, while Category 2B shows that there is consensus, though it may not be uniform. Finally, Category 3 recommendations are based on any level of evidence, but there is major disagreement that the intervention is appropriate. Our guideline was structured on the following questions. What treatment options should be considered for localized follicular lymphoma? How should asymptomatic advanced stage follicular lymphoma be managed? What treatment options should be considered for symptomatic advanced stage follicular lymphoma? And lastly, in which patients should additional treatments be considered? This slide summarizes our recommendations with regard to the first question. Uh, what treatment options should be considered in localized follicular lymphoma? Our first recommendation is that radiotherapy should be considered the preferred treatment for localized follicular lymphoma, uh, categorized by grade 2A evidence. Recommendation 2, outside of clinical trials, uh, lower doses of radiation, uh, typically 24 to 30 gray, in 1.5 to 2 gray fractions, along with smaller field sizes for radiation are most appropriate given the potential for long-term toxicity, and this was a category 1 a recommendation. Recommendation three, if outcomes from randomized trials prove positive, combined modality therapy may uh, present additional options, though this is a category 2B recommendation. And lastly, in cases where either the potential toxicity of radiation outweighs the potential benefits, or if the patient refuses radiation, observation alone may be a reasonable alternative, though this is a 2B recommendation. This slide summarizes recommendations for how asymptomatic advanced stage follicular lymphoma should be managed. Our first recommendation is that the initiation of chemoimmunotherapy should be based on identification of symptoms by the GELF or BNLI criteria uh, with a Category 2A recommendation. Our second recommendation is that we do not recommend chemoimmunotherapy or chemotherapy alone as early treatment due to a lack of published randomized studies, and this was a Category 1 evidence. The final recommendation was that should positive outcomes be noted in the Ardeshna 2014 trial looking at early rituximab intervention, uh, this may change current practice based on its ability to reduce the risk of relapse, and the level of this evidence at this time remains to be. Our next slide looks at the third question, what treatment options should be considered for symptomatic advanced stage follicular lymphoma? The first recommendation here is that chemoimmunotherapy should be used in preference to rituximab monotherapy, except when chemotherapy is contraindicated, and this is based on the lower response rates to rituximab monotherapy as published, and this is a Category 2A recommendation. The second recommendation, given the improved overall response rate and progression-free survival with the addition of rituximab to a number of chemotherapy combinations, rituximab should be added to chemotherapy in all frontline treatment. And this is a Category 1 recommendation. The third recommendation is that we recommend bendamustine rituximab as the preferred chemoimmunotherapy given superior efficacy and favorable tolerability versus ARCHOP. And the level of this evidence is Category 1. This slide summarizes our recommendations in regards to the, que the fourth question, in which patients should additional treatment be considered following first-line induction? The recommendation from our guideline is that we do not recommend high-dose therapy followed by autologous stem cell transplant as part of frontline treatment of follicular lymphoma, given the lack of proven survival benefit and potential toxicity, and this is a Category 1 evidence. In conclusion, our guidelines provide a single up-to-date and useful reference to summarize existing evidence for treating clinicians, and this provides guidance for clinicians treating multiple hematologic disorders. Thank you.